Welcome, everyone, to January Telehealth. Uh, my name is Jacob Tim, and I'm the treasurer of the Parkinson's Resource Center. And we're here in Spokane today on this cold and crisp January afternoon. And we have a great presentation today. And I wanted to go ahead and introduce our speaker today, Carla Carnegie, who owns Willow Song Music Therapy Services. She's a board certified music therapist and uses the elements of music within the relationship with her clients and their qualified therapist. Today, she's gonna to be discussing the topic of useful tools for stress management. And with that, I'll go ahead and bring Carla on and she'll tell you a little bit more about herself and we can get into the topic. So, thank you. Thank you, Jake. Nice to have you, Carla. Thank you so much. It's my honor and, and privilege to be here with you today. Um, I was here presenting, I think, January of 2012 as a music therapist um, because I do serve folks with Parkinson's disease and I, I work at the Parkinson's Resource Center on Wednesday afternoons with folks with Parkinson's and so I invite all of you um, around the area here to come on down. I also serve the Parkinson's support group in Coeur d'Alene on Thursday mornings at 10 and they meet at the community building or community room in the Silver Lake Mall. So I will just tell you just a little bit about myself. I've been born and raised in Spokane and um, 2004 I embarked on my college journey. All I knew was that I needed to get my music degree. That's all I knew and so I embarked on that journey and on that journey, I, I, well, I finished my music degree and composition, and composition at Whitworth. Um, and on my journey, I discovered music therapy and decided that was what I really wanted to use um, my music skills and knowledge with. And um, so it meant that I had to go to another university that, that had an approved music therapy program, which meant that I, I could go to Merrill Hurst University in Portland, that would be the closest university. So that's what I did. And um, did my internship there, 1,200 hours in Portland, serving a variety of different clients and disorders, and then came back to Spokane and um, began my, my private practice in Willow Song Music Therapy Services. So thank you so very, very much for having me. And what I'm gonna be sharing with you today are tips and um, information that I've learned as on a personal level and on a professional level as a music therapist. So we'll go ahead and move along here. So I'm pushing the arrow button down and it's not doing anything. To go to my next slide. Was it because that came on or what? Oh uh, no. Okay. Maybe just need to run up again. Okay. So when we talk about finding a balance, so what is that? What does that mean? And what is homeostasis? Well, balance is a state of equilibrium, a bodily or mental stability, and a harmony of the systems. And as a music therapist, this is a perfect fit because um, we work with functions of all the systems, whether it's emotional function, psychosocial function, physical function, communication function, spiritual function, um, we're working with functions and helping people to uh, increase their, their function, level of a function, and to reach their full potential as human beings. So s working with a state of equilibrium or a harmony of the systems is a perfect fit. Homeostasis is a Latin word with homeo meaning constant and stasis meaning stable. So we're talking about stress today. So what's up with that? So what does it do to our bodies? Well, here's a list of what the AMA says can be the root of some 60% of disease pro uh, diseases in the, in the body and in the systems. These are some of the root causes at, or can be some of the root causes. And you know, we're unique individuals and so there's not any one no magic bullet on, in any of this, but these are just things that can um, come out of unresolved levels of stress. So it is an important topic to, to look at and to think about and to deal with. 
Stress affects the entire body and can cause many other problems, such as insomnia, emotional and behavior problems, immune system dysfunction. People are sick all the time. When they look at their lifestyle, that maybe that they're just under an awful lot of stress. Lack of energy, depression, nervousness, paranoia, muscle tension, fibromyalgia, complex regional pain syndrome, alcoholism, suicide, drug addiction, tobacco addiction, and other harmful behaviors. So it can really have a deleterious uh, effect on our body. There is a connection between mind and body wellness. We have the physical, emotional, and spiritual components of well-being. They're sacred and inseparable, and these are the things that we share in common. I have a little picture of a grove of trees, and that's kind of representative of, of us as um, folks. A guy by the name of Barry Bittman um, wrote a book with Anthony DeFall, and the, the title of it is Maze of Life. And the title is, uh, what, what it talks about is, the way you choose to live your life is what counts. It's a matter of choice. We do have some choices in our life, and so we're going to talk about some of those choices that we can make that can have a, an effect on the stress levels that you may be um, living with. These choices can lead us to a personal discovery of where elements that have particular meaning forms and become the building blocks for creating a balanced and healthy life, because that's what we all really want, a balanced and healthy life. It sounds wonderful, doesn't it? But how do we get there? There's elements of good health, um, and there are many, but um, the most basic ones are reflected in an attitude of wellness. How we think and how we uh, how we behave are, are much very connected. These elements can include diet and exercise and social support, spiritual practice, intellectual stimulation, stress reduction, coping skills, and creative expression. So I'm going to teach you a, a chant that I like to use um, in my stress management classes. Today's class is just like an overview uh, of what we delve into in a little bit more depth on, on a five-week basis when I, when I do a stress management class because I can't give you everything here in 45 minutes. It's just not possible. And we only can remember you know, a very small portion of what we hear in a lecture anyway. And in my stress management classes, we do a lot of engagement, active engagement. And when I've surveyed my... Um, attendees of previous stress management classes I've done, they say it's what we did together that was the most meaningful. So I'm going to teach you a chance. If you can stand, please stand. And you guys at the, um, at the other satellites, you can step back from the table you're at and do the same thing that we're, we're doing here in Spokane. If you can only just sit, you can do that as well because it works just as well. Well, I love the metaphor of the trees. My business name is Willow Song, meaning the Willow Tree, the Willow Song Music Therapy Services. And I'm going to teach you today a chant that I learned early on in my music therapy um, schooling. And it goes like this. I want you to shift your weight from foot to foot. Shift your weight from foot to foot. Feel the balance. Feel the earth underneath you or the floor in this case. It's holding you up. It's there supporting you, grounding you. All right? I got to take a drink. <laughs> My mouth is suddenly very dry. Okay. We're going to stand like a tree with our roots down deep, our branches open wide. And open your arms. Out comes the sun. Make a big sun over your head. Down comes the rain. And down comes the fruit. So you're going to reach for apples. Down comes the fruit to a heart that is open. Meanwhile, you're still standing like a tree, shifting your weight from foot to foot. All right? So here's how it goes. Standing like a tree with my roots down deep, my branches open wide. Out comes the sun, down comes the rain, down comes the fruit to a heart that is open and I'm standing like a tree with my roots down deep my branches open wide out comes the sun down comes the rain down comes the fruit 
to a heart that is open and I'm standing like a tree with my roots down deep my branches open wide out comes the sun down comes the rain down comes the fruit to a heart that is open all right nicely done everybody Yes, go ahead and sit. <laughs> We're going to do a couple other experientials while we go here. But we're going to move along here. So, okay, so we've learned a little bit about stress, what it can do to our systems. So now what? What in the world can we do? Everybody says, oh, well, you just, you need less stress. Well, you know, we can only run so far. And we all have stress. Would you agree with that? We all have stress. We may have some various levels of stress depending on some things that are going on in our lives and inside our bodies, but we all have stress. So it's a whole lot about how we cope with that stress that makes the difference rather than the amount of stress that we may be encountering. So one of the first things that we can do is simply breathe. Breathe! to restore a sense of inner balance amidst the challenges of life. So when I say breathe, well, we all do that. Our bodies have to, we wouldn't even be alive. So what does this really, really mean? It means to take in oxygen, clear, clear down deep, fill up the whole lungs with air, all right? And to do that, you're going to feel your rib cage move. Things are going to move this way and this way. And I finally, I finally got this connection with my voice teacher when I was getting my music degree. I really didn't get, I really didn't get it. And for singers, you know, well, you have to breathe from the belly. And it's like, okay, well, I'm trying, but what does that mean? So I'm going to lead you in that a little bit. You can just sit if you want to. Um, you're going to just put your hands on your belly, and we're going to breathe in on the count of four through the nose. And on the count of six, we're going to breathe out through the mouth. So I'm going to give you this for breathing in and out. That's your, going to be your cue. You're going to have your hands on your belly, so you're going to feel some of those diaphragmatic muscles at work when you're doing this. Now, also, feel where you are in your chair. Just be aware of how your body's feeling sitting in the chair. You might want to be sitting up nice and straight so you can take as deep of a lungful of air as possible. But controlling that inhalation and exhalation is what we're talking about, filling the whole lung with air. Some people, when I say take a deep breath, they go, <laughs> you don't get more air into your body by raising your shoulders. You need to expand the rib cage so those lungs can fill up with air. All right, so let's just do this. We're going to do a, I'll give us a snap for a count of four on the breath in through the nose, and then we'll breathe out, controlling that exhalation on a count of six. And here we go, breathing in and out and in. And out. And in. And out. Now I do this exercise every week with my with most of my clients, particularly my my folks that have um, Parkinson's disease, because Parkinson's disease affects all of these muscles, the whole respiratory system. So being aware of the breath is gonna is really important. And it's important so that you can have more volume. Oops. It's an important so that you uh, are aware of all of these muscles that are at play when you're speaking. Because if you want to be heard, this is what's affecting your communication, you have to be able to speak articulately and have enough voice volume in order to do that. Now, 
the Parkinson's Resource Center has got some wonderful programs available to everybody that is with a person who is um, living with Parkinson's, whether you yourself have Parkinson's or you're a caregiver or a spouse of folks with Parkinson's. And one of them is Trouble Clefts, which is a singing group. Um, and the other one is the music therapy, the mind, body, spirit class that's given at the Parkinson's Resource Center. Um, even if you're doing the dance class, you need to have lots of air in order to do that. So all of these programs, you're going to be working on respiratory. So we've done some deep breathing. And I'm going to give you seven ways to help you feel your life is more balanced and feel more joy. Now, in my, in my stress management class, we, we go through a number of different things, and we spend a little bit more time with it. But, of course, as you know, we've got a very limited amount of time here, but I want you to go away with something that you can utilize in your life right now. And the first one is, and it is, of course, breathe. I can't tell you how many times I go down the highway in my car and I just practice some deep breaths. There is nothing that is more effective in f f getting, dispelling feelings of stress than to just deeply breathe. It affects that the hormone, the cortisol hormone that's in, in your system. When you're stressed, you have an elevation of cortisol. And that's fine if you're running away from a lion, but it's not fine when it's a chronic, just constant stress, 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 and having no way of, of getting rid of that. So breathing is a way of, of working on that. The other one that you probably already know about is just moving your body. There's dance, there's exercise, there's stretching, there's yoga, there's tai chi, there's music and movement. And again, the Parkinson's Resource Center is wonderful in providing something that's going to help you with moving your body, with like the dance. Um, for Parkinson's, the Tai Chi class, there's a Tai Chi class in, in Coeur d'Alene that follows the music therapy time that you can participate in. There's all kinds of, um, of exercise groups, go into the gym, whatever. Um, but I'm just going to give you an example of music and movement because the studies show it doesn't really you don't have to really div, uh, delve into a whole hour of exercise to have any good effect even just seven minutes of movement is good so gentle stretches just moving is a good thing and so I, I want us to do something with movement so for you to have an example so I'm going to turn on my iPod, and I'm going to lead us in a movement. Now, you may want to stand again if you are not able to stand, or, you, or your balance is such that you are going to be in a dangerous situation if you stand. Just stay seated. We can do this perfectly seated and often do, so no worries there. So I'm going to lead you in this. Let's see here. How come this is not working? Hmm. Let's see. I have it. It was just fine before. Our volume. Volume's up. Uh huh. There we, yeah. Are we connected here? Yeah. Well, that's a good question. Hmm. All right. Anytime you're dealing with technology, <laughs> you're going to have, you know, issues. So it is moving. So it should be. Let's go to the bottom here. That sounds. Mm hmm. There we go. All right. Oh, came unplugged. What do you know? <laughs> if all else fails, plug it in. All right, everybody. Oops. All right. 
and take a nice deep breath in. And here we go. And out. An arm up. Here we go. Arm up. And down we come. Other arm. Up we go. your arm and stretch that arm just a little bit further than you did before and bring it on down. Trade arms, up we go. Stretch a little bit more and bring it on down. Now we're going to do two arms and here we go. Up we go and stretch both of those arms up and bring them down. Out to the sides. Just gently take your arms up and down as if you're a bird. You're going to fly away. And up. And down. Take your arms all the way up. Meet your hands in the middle. And bring them down through the middle of the body. And one more time up. Meet, down, come. Now sway this way. Both arms go the other way. those different kinds of music and movement um, experiences throughout stress management time of five weeks. So I want to give you lots of different tools and experience lots of different music while you're moving too. And speaking of that, um, I want to talk about making a playlist of preferred music. You know, they, they, the studies show that Using music that is preferred has the best results in you being motivated to do what you need to do. So if you need help with that, talk to me because I would be happy to help you develop a playlist that you can go to for things that you can do in stress management, such as <coughs> songs that would be appropriate or music that would be appropriate for deep breathing, music that would be appropriate for movement, music that would be appropriate for faster walking, um, you know, so on like that. You can design that. All right, so the third thing on our list of ways that you can feel more balanced and have more joy in your life is to sing. Join a choir, come to Trimble Clefts or to come to the music therapy program, uh, and sing throughout your day. Now, folks, we get mixed up in our culture that, you know, we don't sing because we just can't sing. We don't have a good voice or whatever other excuse. And some people have had 
the bad messages or wrong messages throughout their life, like you shouldn't sing because you can't carry a, you know, a tune in a gut bucket. But I'm saying to you, as a part of your health, your whole mind body needs to sing. It's physical, it's also emotional, and it's psychological, it's cognitive, it is communication. It's all of those functions all rolled up into one. And so I do encourage you to just sing. Sing in the car. Sing in the shower. Come to trumpet class and sing. Just sing. Because it's not about how good your voice is or how well you carry a tune, but the act of, of doing it. So play. Play an instrument. Participate in a drumming group, games, hobbies, I'll tell you, in, in music therapy time, we emphasize rhythm, playing simple instruments, because, of, because our bodies and our brains love rhythm. And everybody can play something. And again, it's not about performance or whatever. It's, it's the doing it. It's what happens in the brain when you're engaged in music. That's what we're looking for, because that's where wonderful changes happen. And five is mindfulness. That's the conscious awareness of what you're feeling and experiencing in the present moment. You know, it's surprising how, how often we just do stuff because the, we just do. We just do it. That's, it's a reactive rather than responsive way of, of journeying through our life or through our day. But I'm saying to you, be mindful. Be mindful of what your body's feeling. That's why I was saying, telling you when we were going to do um, one of the, the exercises, be mindful of how your body's feeling in the chair, how you're sitting, and all of that. Create a calming routine. Um, have an awareness of when and where your anxious thoughts begin. Or I, I call it the mind chatter, the worry, the worry button. <laughs> be aware of what is triggering, and then have something that can interrupt that. And those are the tips that I'm giving you right here. Breathing interrupts that. Just distracting yourself with some movement interrupts that. Playing an instrument, playing a game, getting, getting involved with someone else, that interrupts that thought cycle sometimes that we get caught up in. Have a go-to relaxing trick a playlist that you can put on that says ah, to you, clearing the chatter of the mind. How many of you um, deal with uh, insomnia or difficulty in staying asleep when you're, when you're going to sleep at night? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Deep breathing has helped me so much with that because I have a very busy mind, and it just does not want to shut down when it's bedtime. So deep breathing has really helped me, and then uh, just being mindful of the tension I'm holding in my body. So I just do a check through my feet, and this is what I call progressive muscle relaxation. It's something I do in the music, in the not in the music, in the stress management class. Uh, the fourth and fifth classes, I do quite a bit of that because I want you to know how you can do this yourself. So practicing, as with anything, is what develops a good habit. So being, being able to just check in with your body and know where you're holding tension and letting that go, it really, really, really helps with being able to um, go to sleep and stay asleep. And the one thing that we haven't seen yet I'll come back to this, is number seven, gratitude. Gratitude, and every day, looking around you, noticing what's there, listening, listening for unusual little sounds that pique your interest. Um, and at night, the studies show that those who journal about their day and something that they can find that they're grateful for, they do go to sleep easier, faster and they stay asleep for longer. So you have a better quality sleep um, by practicing some of these habits. Gratitude is a really wonderful thing. 
All life is vibrations, even silence. Listening to the quiet sounds of nature has a very positive effect on your health. So that's why I'm saying just be aware, just notice. I love to hear the birds in the trees. So you have to be quiet for a minute in order to hear for that, listen for that. So take the time to do that. But sometimes we just need to be reminded to do that. All right, so finding your balance, igniting your joy, wellness class. I've been talking about this. Experience small group workshops and explore balance. Is there even such a thing? Understanding the, the physiology of stress and tension. Your brain on music, finding your zen. Drumming in community and singing for wellness. Progressive muscle relaxation and more. Have fun, renew your spirit, and be inspired. You know, in my, in my stress management classes, I feel like I'm part coach, part encourager, part um, dispenser of, of inspiration. And hopefully, you know, by empowering people with extra tools in their toolbox in dealing with life and coping with, with those stressors of life, um, that it, it builds inspiration. It, it builds inspiration out of empowerment. All right. Remember, we're each a song. I believe this, and this is what kind of my, I keep bump, bumping this. Um, I, I believe this in my practice with, with my clients, that we're each a song in this big symphony of life. And what I do as a music therapist is help each person sing their unique personal song. Not necessarily what you sing physically, but as a person, your essence, your spirit, help you sing your song. Because each of us is important in the ensemble of humankind. Use what talents that you possess. The woods would be very silent if no birds sang, except for those that sang best. And in um, closing, I want to end with this little quote from Charlie Chaplin. Life is play that does not allow testing. So sing, cry, dance, laugh, and live intensely between the curtain, before the curtain closes and the piece ends with no applause. Thank you for having me. And there's questions and answers times, I think. Coming up. Yes, there yes. is. Okay. Carla, thank you so much for that wonderful information. We could give her a round of applause. Thank you. I was thinking to myself as I was there, my wife tells me how much I stress her out. I was hoping maybe either you could come over or I could tell her, hey, just breathe next time I'm doing that. So we'll, we'll start with that. <laughs> well, there's a couple things, a uh, couple of announcements uh, that we wanted to make before um, we go ahead and move to the question and answer section. The first one is the PRC has a new phone number. And that new phone number, we moved into our new space, a great space for all of you who are out of town. If you're ever passing through, you'll need to come by and check it out. The new phone number is 509-443-3361. And one more time, that's 509-443-3361. 4433361 that new phone number if you're not writing it down is also listed on the website which is which has not changed and that's center at spokaneparkinsons.org so if you give the PRC a call you're going to get either Cindy our coordinator or she also has an assistant now named Kylie who she's very friendly and if you haven't called and talked to her before you'll really enjoy her when you call in one more item that I wanted to talk about briefly with Carla before we go ahead and move to the question and answer session is a five week, it's five week, mm -hmm. a five week workshop that Carla is going to be teaching. We don't have the information that's available to show. We just have some flyers here that we'll be able to pass out. So I just wanted to talk with Carla a little bit more about what are you going to be doing along with these stress management tools in this workshop and you know what can we look forward to in terms of the dates? The dates start January 20th, so next Tuesday, and it's right after Trumple Clefts, which is at the Parkinson's Resource Center. So if you want to participate in this workshop, you'll just want to stick around, and it will be an hour and 10 minutes. So 
I stretch it out over five weeks because, as I said, we, we can't remember everything in one little snippet. But when we practice some things over five weeks' time, you've got it. You've got it. And then you can really use that in your life. We always will do some singing, some kind of singing like we did standing with, like a tree. We'll do something with rhythm, something with movement, and I give you tips I just don't give you all the tips in one thing, <laughs> in one do, because you can't remember them and you can't implement them either. So just giving it a little bit over the five-week time, it makes it more Excellent. useful and, and, and a way to remember it better. Excellent. Now, if you're out of town, folks, I can arrange if you would like for me to come and do a workshop with you. Um, I can do that in a in a different way and that is like to do a two or three hour class it would be just in one do but you could have a workshop with me um but if you're in the spokane core lane corridor all in this area um please come to the resource center for this and you'll need to pre-register under my e my um, email account which is carla c-a-r-l-a dot carnegie c-a-r-n-e-g-i-e at gmail.com or just go to willowsongmusictherapy.com that's willowsongmusictherapy.com and you can register there excellent and for any of you who do want to participate in that five-week program uh, starting on the 20th those are held from 2 30 in the afternoon until 3 40 so just over an hour and the cost is sixty dollars and a portion of the proceeds go goes to the parkinson's resource center so yeah that's going to be something we'll look forward to mm -hmm. One other announcement that I'll make before we move to uh, the question and answer session is this telehealth as well as previous telehealths are available on CD. So if either you wanted a copy of this to go over again or if maybe you missed a telehealth previously and you wanted to be able to get some information on what that one was about, feel free to contact Cindy uh, at the Parkinson's Resource Center and she can give you more information on how to go about getting one of those CDs so you can go through a telehealth. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up for question and answer and we're just going to go down through the list of uh, of our off sites and we're going to start with anchorage is anchorage there any questions yes we're here excellent so we just want to open it up for question and answer from anchor and oh i'm getting some oh, okay so we'll start with attendance so anchorage how many do you have there currently we have four four excellent and anchorage any questions today about uh what carlos spoke on Sorry, we don't have any questions now. Excellent. Yep, we're still in here. Well, thank you for joining us. And I think thank the next one we're going to move to is Billings. Yes, so uh, it was an excellent program, and we would like to order a CD. But we'd also like to know if Carla would repeat the poem about the tree. We were trying to take notes on it. Got sure. behind. The, the chant that we were singing... The chant that yes. we're singing, standing like a tree with my roots down yes, deep. Yes, that one. Okay, so it begins. Standing like a tree with my roots down deep, my branches open wide. Out comes the sun, down comes the rain, down comes the fruit to a heart that is open. And I'm standing like a tree with my roots down deep, my branches open wide. Out comes the sun, down comes the rain, down comes the fruit to a heart that is open. Thank you very much. Welcome. Other questions, Billings? When you mention a rhythm band, you have one going there, and uh, what kind of instruments do you use? We always do something with rhythm in our, in, our, in our gatherings, whether it's music therapy or whether it's stress management or whatever. Use simple rhythm handheld um, instruments, uh, paddle drums, frame drums, um, shakers, um, sticks. Um, yeah, and, I've, and then I, I have used some pitch instruments like tone chimes, um, just a variety of things. Whatever I have. 
Any other questions, Billings? Do you play a CD along with that then, or what? No, we do it live, improvising. Okay, you thanks. You can use a CD and play a rhythm instrument along with it. You can do that. Again, that would be under that um, heading of music uh, preference, find, uh, developing your own playlist of, of uh, music that you like and would, um, would work with, and you can, you can do that. You can play along with a CD if you if you want to. We have four in attendance here at Billings. Thank you, Billings. Next, we're going to go to Coeur d'Alene. Hello. Hi, Coeur d'Alene. We, we have five in attendance, and we're lucky enough to have Carla have a class with with, with our group. So oh, we get you to are enjoy lucky. <laughs> Any other questions for Carla since you have her here now? Yes, you just mentioned that this is available on a CD. Did you mean DVD or is it a CD? Just just it's, audio. It, yeah, it's it's a DVD. So there's video and audio. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, Coeur d'Alene? That's it. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, and we'll move to Colville next. Anybody there, Colville? They're out practicing their breathing exercises. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go to Miles City next. Yes, this is Miles City. Hi, There's Miles. eight happy souls here. I see <laughs> we have eight happy souls. Excellent. And we, and we thank you for the program. Yes. Oh, not a problem. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Not today. What's your favorite song? <laughs> Carla, what is your favorite song? Oh, my gosh. People ask me that, and I can't. I can't pick a favorite song. I love music. I love all kinds of music, <laughs> all kinds of genres. And I, I'd have to agree on that. How do you pick a favorite I know. song? <laughs> Any other questions, Miles City? <laughs> no, but that, that music is good for that, your speech therapy, you know, uh, my wife here has Parkinson's, and, and she does lots of humming and singing, so I know it does help. Yay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us, Miles City. Next, we're going to go to Moses Lake. Hi. We have 11 here today. Oh, excellent. Thanks for joining us, and what questions do you have? I have one question. Um, Carla said something about finding your balance and something your joy could yeah, she find, repeat it please finding your balance and igniting your joy that's the title of my stress management class thank you You're welcome other questions from moses lake no thank you all right thanks again for joining us and we're going to move to pendleton well, we're here. We've got Hi. three, and we have a dog. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I like okay. that. <laughs> got your pet therapy going. That's a good yep, one. yep. <laughs> Thank you. It was a good uh, program. Thank you. No problem. Any questions, Pendleton? Uh, not right now. Maybe okay. next uh, month. <laughs> well, well, thank you for joining us. And we're going to move to Port Townsend. Can you hear us, Port Townsend? Port Townsend um, was dis uh, got disconnected. Okay. I believe I saw six from the Port Townsend group, but I was looking because they were on the feed. Next, we'll go to Pullman. Are you there, Pullman? Yes, yes we're here. There All are right. five of us here, and we do not have any questions. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. We're going to move to Tenasket next. Hi, there's two of us with one question. Okay. Yeah, the question is, uh, would you repeat the seven steps for uh, more balance? Sure. Yes. 
So the first step is breathe. Okay. Second step is move your body in any way you like. Third step is sing. Just sing. Fourth step is play. Play an instrument, play a game, do your hobbies, participate in life on whatever level. Five is mindfulness, being mindful and consciously aware of how you're feeling and how you're experiencing the present moment. Six is create a calming routine, awareness of when and how or where those anxious thoughts begin. And to, to interrupt that flow, that cycle of negative thinking, have a go-to relaxing trick, such as a playlist that you can put on that says, ah, and it clears the chatter of the mind. Seven is gratitude every day. See and hear, being aware of what's around you so you, for, you can practice gratitude. Writing it down at night before bed is an excellent habit to form. Thank you. That was very good. You're welcome. Thank you, Tenasket. Next would be Walla Walla. They look like they're out breathing as well. <laughs> and last but not least, we're going to take some questions here from the room here in Spokane. It looks like we have four, five, six, seven in attendance. So let's open it up to the floor. Any questions, Spokane? Excellent. Yes, looks like we do have one. Sometimes when things are not going right for you. You know, the idea of gratitude is really makes sense. But for a person, you know, where the body is not cooperating or things are not going right, it's sometimes hard. Yeah. Do you have any pointers? Yes, it's I wouldn't I wouldn't use that as my first go to because you need to interrupt interrupt that whole mind body that's going on by simply breathing. Just start with breathing. That's why I put it as number one. Start with breathing. Just do some deep breaths. I really am nervous standing in front of people like this and presenting. So you know what I was doing all the way here in the car? Just breathing. Just breathing. Calming my system, the nerves, all of that. Just breathing and interrupting any negative thoughts with gratitude and that kind of, you know, all those other steps in uh, after that. But first, breathing. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions from the Spokane audience? Okay, the last thing I'd like to – oh, yes, yes. Be sure to count what's happening next time. Absolutely. That's what I was just going to say. What I want to do before we wrap up is talk about for the February telehealth, we're going to have Dr. Aldridge who will be speaking. And do we know the topic? Okay, so we don't have the topic off hand, but if you haven't heard Dr. Aldrich before, a uh, great presenter, I mean obviously a specialist uh, in his field, and there's always a lot of good information that will be shared. So don't miss me next month telehealth. Tell a friend so we can make this a popular one. And anything else to add before we wrap it up? February 9th. February 9th will be the next telehealth. Time, same time? Okay, 2 p.m. Yeah, if you have any questions, call Cindy at the Parkinson's Resource Center. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing everyone again on February 9th at 2 p.m. for our February telehealth. Thank you, everyone, and thank you again to Carla. Thank you. <laughs>